Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Harold Games, and welcome to the Big Tenno. Yes, that is correct. The tenth episode of my NCAA Football Imperialism series. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. If you missed the last episode, man, did you miss a good one? And I would definitely recommend not looking at the map and taking and watching the last episode if you haven't. And I'm going to give you just a couple more seconds, but um, big upset. And as Mercer has or defeated Georgia. And this was at Georgia. This wasn't at home. This was at Georgia. And Georgia had home field advantage. And Mercer still beat him. Now, Mercer wasn't a terrible team. I believe they were 7-4 and four in the year. But still, Georgia lost to Mercer. And it, it can happen anytime it can happen. But yeah, only only one change that I made from the last episode is that uh, my other wheel was decided to break, and I just realized it says what the what, what to eat for lunch. That is uh, not right. So we'll just do that. We'll just do that. But our first spinner today did not mean to click it, but might as well just start it like that. Is going to be Oregon? Or sorry, Stanford. That looks like it's on Oregon. But it is Stanford, according to this. So, Stanford. Here's Stanford. They have yet to play. They have the smallest bit of land. Um, really, they can only play against Oregon and UCLA. So let's get right into this. I haven't opened. I haven't accessed these tabs in a while, so it's probably gonna take a while to load. They can't go. We can't go west. That is impossible. We can't go northwest. That is also impossible. But we can go northeast, and that is the Oregon Ducks. So, Oregon against Stanford. We're going to Oregon for this one. And if I'm saying Oregon wrong, I apologize. It's my Midwest, I guess if you want to call it, accents, even though I don't live in the Midwest anymore. Oregon against uh, Stanford. Let's find Stanford. Where are we at? I'm blind. Here we go. Should be somewhere around here. Here we go. Stanford. Oregon against Stanford. As Oregon. Jeez. That's a home field advantage. Dominates. I believe they're called the Cardinals. So congratulations to Oregon for this victory. And for Stanford, unfortunately, unable to... Unable to win. Still a nice run. I believe they I believe we're in the final 30-ish team, so it lasted this far. So congratulations to them and congratulations to the to the Ducks for continuing to build upon their land that they've already uh, achieved. They're really making great moves in in imperialism. But we are, yeah, we're not, we don't have that many teams left. I am probably going to say maybe two more episodes, maybe three. And I want to kind of stop when we get to the final eight, kind of like what we did for basketball and baseball. That way we can have, that way we can just finish all eight because the championship game will be a winner take all, no series, unlike my other series. But Stanford. They won on the wheel, but unfortunately, they lost on on uh, here. Did that get rid of Stanford? That yeah, did not. Why did not get rid? Of... Oh, it's getting rid of other teams. Oh boy, well this wheel is awful. <laughs> Oh, I guess we're going with it. Um, I don't know why it's getting rid of other teams. Eastern Michigan is your win is this winner. Should have stuck with my old wheel and just redid it. But whatever. We'll add them back on if we need to. Eastern Michigan. That's gonna suck. South. That is. I think that's Ball State. I mean, geogra uh, Southeast Geographic. Uh, 
I don't really want to cross this land on body of water. But that is technically Appalachian State's land. Because from the center of the logo, slightly southeast, you're barely crossing water. We're going to do Appalachian State. And we're going to hopefully figure out this wheel issue. Of course, I change it to a different wheel and stuff happens. That's not good. Uh, Appalachian State against Eastern Michigan. And of course, I already did a simulation, so big yikes. Eastern Michigan. And Appalachian State continues their domination. They're expanding to the north or to the northwest as they defeat Eastern Michigan. And we now might we're gonna have to adjust. We're gonna have to make a border, a makeshift border, because of the wind or because of the yellow on yellow. I can kind of see it. It's a little tough near the logo. Um, let's just draw the, a really thin border around, kind of like that. There we go. That looks good. Alrighty, and then there we go. I'll just fill this in. We could probably make this a little bit bigger. That looks good. Congratulations to Appalachian State and for Eastern Michigan. I believe you'll be Michigan State, if I'm remembering correctly. But unfortunately, you did lose to Appalachian State, which is continuing their powerhouse run. So, yeah, and let me see if I can fix this wheel thing. Um. I apologize. I was not expecting. What if I do? Nope. Okay. Um. Well, I feel like oh boy, that ignore what was on the background. <laughs> feel like an idiot for getting rid of, for getting rid of this wheel. So we're gonna lie, do this live. I, I'm so sorry guys this was not intended and I don't want to and I don't know how to edit videos so that I can't I I, I just can't we'll, we'll just go quick really we'll just go quick I know a minimum is required I'm trying to okay UCLA oh my gosh okay or a gone. There we go. I am so sorry, guys. Not intended. UCLA, uh, Washington, Texas Tech, Washington, te Texas Tech. I'll, I'll. If you guys want to skip ahead of the video, I'll mainly. Uh, I'll, I'll put in some. Timestamp so you could skip ahead. Of course, Arizona. This is not intended at all. It's you, Iowa State. Uh, I feel pretty bad because this was not supposed to happen. So, Oklahoma. Uh, North Texas. TCU, SMU, Texas, UTSA. Now that I already put Iowa State on here. No. Oh. My bad. Yeah, not not intended. I put Arkansas already on here. I did. I already put Iowa State on here. Okay, Wisconsin, Purdue. Ball 
Ball State, Tennessee. Oops. State, Tennessee. LA Tech. LSU. LA. Say, try Florida State Mercer Appalachian State Michigan Buffalo Penn State Forum. Temple, Maryland, Maryland, Old Dominion. All right, there we go. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, if you want to skip ahead, I'll make sure to have timestamps in the video of what to skip. But okay, let's get right back into this. Oh, I'm wrong thing. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna use that wheel anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to make sure that there's a way to say this. Arkansas is our next team. You don't know where Arkansas is. Here's Arkansas right here. I'm going to make sure I'm still recording. Okay. Here's Arkansas right here, right in this big blob of red. we got a lot of red on the map. Let's uh, do the next spin. We're going straight north, a little east, which that is going to be Iowa State. Wow. Battle for majority of the central plains. Northern points at that. Iowa State against Arkansas. We're going to Iowa State. Ames, I believe. Ames, Iowa. I believe that's where uh, the Cyclones play. Iowa State against Arkansas. There we go. And Ames and the Razorbacks do it. Wow. 13-point victory over the Cyclones. And just like that, the Razorbacks now control a huge chunk of land, more than what they've already had. For Iowa State, their run, unfortunately, comes to an end in Ames. Right? Yeah, okay. Sometimes I forget. Man, what a victory for the side or for the Razorbacks. I do my best to quickly fill this out because I wasted some time doing some stupid. It, or missing or messing up some things again, like usual. But one part in this series, and I've done a lot, is messing up pretty easy things. Like that wheel situation. Probably should have tested it out. Of course, I didn't, and cost cost me some time and you guys some time. Hopefully, hopefully everyone. If you haven't read the timestamps, I, I apologize. Like I said, that's going to be in the, the first thing that happens when this thing. And I'm able to put comments in. And I, when I'm able to write comments, that's the first thing I'm going to do is say, hey, <laughs> skip ahead at, if skip ahead to this point. By now, you should already have skipped ahead. Or if you watched it live, then see my sick typing skills. Which is beyond awful, but yeah. Yeah, Arkansas with a nice win over the Cyclones. I honestly expected the Cyclones to lose earlier. I don't think they did well this season. From what I remember. I did watch one game though where I feel like the refs absolutely screwed them. I can't remember what game that was. But there was like a late hit on their quarterback. 
to the head, which causes our quarterback to get knocked out of the game, I believe. It was towards the end of the game. And they went to review it for targeting because there was a fumble that happened. They did not have targeting. And not only that, they, not only did they not have targeting, but there was a fumble on the play. And yeah. Can't remember which team that was against. Um, I think it was against a ranked team. I just cannot remember who it was against. But Arkansas with a win. And with that being said, we're going to give Arkansas the second logo expansion of the series. If you remember the first logo expansion, it went to Mercer, deservedly. Or picking up her, her upset win over uh, uh, sorry, uh, Georgia. It'd be Georgia deservingly getting their logo expansion. For Arkansas, we'll give you guys a logo expansion. And for Iowa State, unfortunately, your run is done. Just like that. Next team to spin the wheel or to attack is going to be the Asian Cajuns, Louisiana Lafayette. Here they are down here. First time they're going to be able to play. Who will they be going up against? Southwest, which that is no one eventually hits the uh, UTSA, but. Red Runners, but and that, don't, that won't work, but don't cross big bodies of water. Southwest, that is more like it. That is UTSA. So this is for if UTSA loses, then the Asian Cajuns have all of South Texas. The Red Runners win. They expand into Louisiana. I, I'm curious to see if this, if, um, uh, this version of the simulation has a butchered logo of um, Louisiana Lafayette. If you have not seen my basketball series, uh, you'll yeah, if you have seen my basketball series, you'll know that Louisiana Lafayette. I don't think it's going to, no, that, no that's, that's New York. Has a leopard as their logo in the simulation, for, at least for basketball, but in real life it's like that pepper type thing. Or it says Raging Cajuns on it, but I remember it used to have a pepper on it. Yeah, see, they still have it. A, that's technically, that's not. As UTSA wins, but that's, that's not their logo, and there's really, there's no alternative for their logo and I don't want to look, look up records because I feel like that would be useless but the Roadrunners pick up the win over Louisiana Lafayette unfortunately so they, they didn't get a chance to expand they, they're eliminated after one hey that's imperialism you survived this long without having to defend your land but unfortunately you had your chance you blew it Obviously, the home field advantage against you doesn't help, but still, when you wait this long to attack, that's what's going to happen. I'm still, there are updates, sporadic updates, but the uh, Full Miners roster franchise rosters. Still have not been given a release date yet, so I'm just going to stay patient and not do a, a franchise series until I get a legit um, a legit release, t release time, release date, and hopefully it'll be before I go on my 10-day trip, but if my luck is going to be during my 10-day trip. So hopefully we can start the franchise series before June 1st, but if not, unfortunately franchise series which I don't know if many people are going to watch it anyways but so I'm not that I'm a lot different than what other people do in terms of my franchise style videos play a full game and now acting as an announcer and stuff because that is kind of what I did as a as a side job 
but yeah, uh, Purdue, well, Purdue, yeah, Purdue. Okay, so here's Purdue. They did expand once. I think they beat Illinois. In fact, I am pretty sure they did ge where that is geographically. They're going northwest, which that is going to be Wisconsin. Ooh. It's been a while since Wisconsin has had to play, but they when they played, they've done really well. They're going the wrong way. You go Wisconsin against Purdue. Not uh, Pudge itself. <laughs> there you go, Purdue. Alrighty. The Badgers win. They do a 14 point victory over Purdue. Congratulations to the Badgers for another win. It's getting pretty interesting to see if Wisconsin can keep this uh, run going. Uh, we'll 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 do a few more spins. We'll do seven oh five, which doesn't matter for you guys right now, but on the because I'm not timing it with my phone today. Uh, seven oh five will be our last spin. So unfortunately, not as many spins today due to my limited time and my wheel mishap. But next episode we'll. Hopefully try and get to like the final eight. We're almost there. We still have some ways to go, but we're almost there. There we go. Wisconsin moves on. And we will quickly eliminate Purdue. We'll do we'll do two more spins. Unless we can get two spins out of the way before it's done on five. Then we'll do a third one. Florida State. Here's Florida State. If they go if they Play against Troy tonight, I would like that. But if they go to Mercer, I wonder if Mercer will be able to win this time. Where will they play or be attacking? They will be going northwest, which I think, yep, that is barely Troy, but it is Troy. So Troy at home against Florida State. Here's Troy. Here's Florida State, submit, and Florida State, a seven-point victory for the Knolls over the Trojans. Good thing about that is that we won't have to worry about any issues with color borders in regards to Mercer. But another red style type of team, red background color type of team, expanding. Congratulations to Florida State and for Troy. Unfortunately, you're running, you're one and done. But someone had to be one and one, one and done. Troy was unable to defend their team well. It's a close game. But Troy did win. Or sorry, Troy did lo a loss. They didn't win. And we will do one more spin on, on this episode. And we have TCU, another team without another team that's playing for the first time. Here's TCU. They have a lot of teams around them that, that have played. And a few and then just one team that has not played. Because they can te they technically cannot play against Texas because of that land extension. Um if they go get oh they're going southwest, which I think that's SMU. Uh, if this land and then jut out, then it would be Texas, but it is SMU against TCU, the Battle of the U's. SMU against TCU. And the Horn Frogs with a dominating victory over the Mustangs by, uh, sorry. Thirty-one. Can't believe that took me a while to look that up. Uh, 
But yeah, victory four. Oh, that is way too big. Victory four. TCU over SMU. And the Horned Frogs will begin their expansion. Remember, they went to the Natty and football got creamed by Georgia. But Georgia is not on their pass. So if they could win some games, spend their land, who knows? Maybe we'll have a Mercer versus TCU game. That would be hilarious, but it would, and I, and I would honestly hope uh, Mercer wins. I, but I hope it's Mercer Ball State, Max Shin against the Cinderella story. You gotta love Max Shin and you gotta love Cinderella stories. So that is who I hope is in the final, is in the national championship for imperialism. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I, I, again, not as many spin spins on the wheel as I wanted. Took some time fixing my mistake live. Without any edits because I don't know how to edit videos and I cannot pay anyone to edit. And I don't know what an edited video of Imperialism would look like. Besides Nighty Cash's videos. But yeah, there we go. But don't worry, I I, I don't need one. Uh, I'll just put in the timestamp. There you go. There, and we'll we'll uh, get rid of uh, SMU on, off the wheel. Here they are. Let's get rid of them. And let's count how many teams we have left on the map. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20. Really? We only did... I think 37 was the amount of teams that was on the last wheel. Or was on the last one. So we did not make as much progress as I wanted today. Uh, but next episode, which... Probably going to be coming out on Wednesday, and that'll be the last episode uh, of anything until after I'm done with my finals week, the next week. That is going to be my last time I upload. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, with that being said, hope you get, and, until after finals, and then I'll do some daily uploads. For a few days before I go on my trip, and then I will schedule or I will record a bunch of videos in advance if I have an idea in mind. Otherwise, we will just not have any uploads for 10 days, and then when I get back, we'll start some uploads. So that is my plan. But for now, we're just going to take it a day at a time. Uh, probably one more episode of Imperialism, but. Uh, Hoping that it won't be a huge break. Um, and a matter of fact, I might actually get get the series finale out by Wednesday. That way, uh, I'm not in in the middle of a series before long breaks. But yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it for the end of this episode, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day and peace. Oh, I had to hit the end record button.